Hello and welcome Just to. Just so you know, I need to win this because I'm first on the. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Sounds perfect. Come here, hold on. <laughs> Just try. Just to come in with the song laughing like this. That's fine. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, welcome to a special edition of Heads Up for Rolls, <laughs> talking to the lovely people of the Set and Go community. I'm joined here today by Diva Esk, by Gross Anatomy, Crazy and Crazy, and Stereo Man. And uh, thank you all for joining us. And we're going to play a highly intense game of uh, Set and Go. And the winner will be awarded uh, the trophy, which will make you officially the Heads Up for Rolls champion until I do another one of these. So let's throw the thingies in and get going. Mmm, okay. Off we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> so the exactly. Right, so I will get to sit and go specifically in a bit, but first of all, I, I know some of you, and I know I've played with Stereo Man a bit, and I've played with Diva quite a lot. Um, but yeah. can you just tell us who you are, how you found the game, and uh, initially at least, why sit and goes are the tournaments for you? Right. Start with me. Uh, yeah, go for it. Well, I mean, you know, you don't need personal details, do you? My no, no, no. My name's Pete. Play yeah, but yeah, I, I, Bold. I played on this. Bold. What is it like? Six months now. Bold. Been playing VR poker Bold. for about six months. Um, Chess. took a break over summertime, Chess. came back, and um, it was just when the VRPT was starting up, like when yeah. I come back, which was. Which is really good. I'll be really excited about the game again. And uh, yeah, these, I, lo I love the sitting guys. I, these are my favourite. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, you know, I'm not really a big fan of the spinning guys as it goes, because I just find that they're too they're too quick. And I like I, I find on these these games you can like you can learn people's habits. You know, you can. As well as the social aspect, I think it's re this is much more like oh. poker. You know, like when you're watching a That's tournament cool. on TV, this feels a lot more realistic. You know? Yeah, I think because yeah. it's like a self-contained little game as opposed to a cash game. You can just yeah. keep rebuying. If you're out, you're out, and you can't come back in again. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cash was. I never played much cash either. I, I feel like this is more, more my uh, cup of tea. I just yeah. It's funny. My favorite oh. thing, but yeah, I love no, I love this well. game. I think I think it's I think it's great. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a great way to meet people. There's a, so many different characters on here that you know, and I've made a lot of friends on here. And yeah, I, I feel lucky that you know people want to play with me. You know, that's something I'm. You know, because. You know, I've had my times where I've raged, where I've you know I'll, I I might have a. But losing out, I might get a bad beat or something and get upset or whatever. But people still come back and they want to play with me because you know I, I give a good game of poker and I like to play I mean, a good game. That's what's so nice about the SNGs. You see the familiar faces. Yeah. Um, like you said, it's tournament style, so everybody's playing a little more conservatively. And at the mm -hmm. same time, uh, we're all good friends, and I'll tell you what, we just have a hilarious time. You know, everybody's playing serious poker, but then at the same time... It's, I mean, uh, this, it's yeah, fun. Friday it's nights on here is there absolutely, you go. There you go, it's mind-blowing. Oh. Like, when I started playing on Mouse's table and he's playing the music, he's got right. the music going, and, like, everyone's doing shots, and we're all, like, you know, <laughs> chatting away, joking away. It's just amazing. Dancing on know? the table. <laughs> <laughs> dancing on the table. It's <laughs> right, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then again, we're going to dance on the table and cut your throat on poker. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's we don't give people. each other any slack, that's for Look sure. Look at this guy. Look you at this win. guy. But it, it's about the people more than anything else, obviously. I mean, the people are just, all, you know, absolutely fantastic. Throughout the whole community. It's not just the, the SMGs. It's the cash games as well. Exactly. But, uh, you know, then on top of that, the yeah. SMGs, they actually, uh, the, they ball. diminish. They have, like, a diminish on them. Where, you know, eventually you're playing two or three-handed or four-handed, and the strategy Player completely ball. changes, and, and uh, it becomes more of a chess game where you're playing the person rather than the hand, and I just love that. I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. No. I mean, no. is it, <clears throat> this is the first time we've sat at a table together, and we've been chatting on Discord for quite a while, haven't we, which is nice. So um, yes, it shows the, the community goes beyond just the games. Um, I 
this, I take it this, this isn't your first uh, go around the block in terms of poker, Grace. Right. You've been playing for some time in the real world. Oh. That's true. Um, we used to have a real cutthroat home, home game. Uh, it used to be absolutely unbelievable. And uh, so that's how I learned. And then, of course, you know, back in the uh, you know, early 2000s, late 90s, when poker was so popular, there were so many shows out. Yeah. There. I'm trying to talk. Oh, he's, uh, you want to get him, get him while he's talking. Get him while he's talking. <laughs> it's okay. Keep distracting him. Don't let him look at his cards. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. Well, that's what happened. We used to have a real cutthroat home game, and uh, that's how I kind of learned to play. And then uh, my nephew actually downloaded this game uh, yeah. through the VR. And I was like, okay, you know, let me give it a shot. And uh, I have more hours in this than I think any other video game I've ever played. I yeah. love poker. I love the people. Brilliant. I remember when I first started playing this man and I wouldn't say a word yeah. to anyone. I just came in, I was like, I don't want to say anything. I was, I was just really nervous. You know, just to say anything. It was the first time I'd ever played this game and I'm like, people are chat and I'm trying to work out how to throw the chips in and stuff. I had to go on YouTube to find out how to play it, like watch a guide just to work out how to throw the chips in and work it all out and I was, yeah, I was... yeah you know I have heard some people uh, say that it would be really nice to have an instructional oh, yeah. video I on think how so. to play I... when you first get yeah. started on oh, how yeah. to grab the chips and how to flip the cards <clears> and <throat> and the rules especially about flipping your cards this way and like I always do that way and then people will get confused if I'm on lower tables because they think they're gonna see my cards because but they can't because of the way I flipped oh. them, you know. Mm. So I think an instructional video on that type of thing would really help new people feel oh. not so Please quite check. behind yeah, yeah. everybody else when they yeah. start. Definitely. Um, and I'm, one I'm... of the good things that's one of the good check. things about the sit and goes is if somebody Please shows check. up at one of our tables Please and they are obviously Please new check. and they don't know what they're doing, somebody's going to help them. Like they'll get help. Like we all we it's generally. Yep. Sure. It's usually Although like, there's, get you know, your chips, jerks, get behind your chips there's like jerks this in and every push, part of the game, you know, <laughs> you get, yeah, this is not... <laughs> just push yeah. it all in, <laughs> just push it all in, there you go, no, 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 we're joking, but no, we do try to help the, the new oh, ones, oh, somebody will help, uh, uh, you know, I can't, I can't even count the number of people that I've taught how to use oh. the wrist menu, or like, you know, put it up here, so you can see the game, whatever's going on, yeah. so, so there is quite an active sit and go community, and I know you will, you arrange games, you talk, how did you all find that community, who kind of brought you into it, or, or were you some of the first people involved in that? It, it, it's all from having played with one another, we, we, we played with one I another, would we say... talked about it, I would say I uh, was have been with uh, Poker Stars since uh, when the Sit and Goes first started, and probably Stereo Man was too. But I met Stereo Man playing Sit and Goes, and we always enjoyed each other. And um, then all of a sudden he came up missing. And um, he yeah, I had went some away over so much. We yeah, had, I had, he had some, and I won't bring it up. He had some yeah, stuff going on, and yeah. uh, it's kind of funny because the community we all said, We're oh. Stereo Man, yeah. we miss Stereo Man. So when he came back, we got so excited, and that's that tells you yeah. how we are as a community when one of us goes missing. The rest of us are like, what's going on? Where are you at? You know? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah it's, very, it's very close. It's very close. It is. Well, I got recruited by Hoisin, who uh, oh. I wish was here today with us. But uh, she found me when I was just playing, starting oh. out playing on the, you know, fairly low... Oh. Uh, stakes cash tables oh. and uh, and yes. really recruited me to join this crowd because I had a good yes. sense of humor. So uh, and then I, I joined the Friday night tables that Stereo was describing. And I mm. think for me, there are like four reasons why I think the sit and goes are the, the better for me. First of all, I think the social aspect that we've been discussing. Second, I think it's more like real poker oh. because it's not just hand by hand. It's not a single transaction. Yep. There's an extended interaction. And so people, even though it's not for real money, they still take it seriously because of that. And relatedly, I think it has a strategy component. And 
you know, for the same reason, because you, you're going to be interacting with people usually right. for about 45 minutes. If you play the turbo style, it's going to be about a 45 minute game with a full table. And so you really need to develop a strategy that is more directed to more than just how do I win this particular hand. And then I'm a gamer. Like I, I'm, I like video games. I've been playing them since I was a kid. Before this, I had like, I don't know, 600 hours in the like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and I was nice. it. Nice. I, was, I was like going back and I, I was going to be a I can see yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, I was turning into a completionist, you know, it was all Ooh. crazy. But like, look, if you're a gamer, there's totally a competitive aspect to this. There's the leaderboards, there's everybody show off your rings, there's everybody, you know, you can get a ring, you can compete. Yeah, yeah. There's an element of like, you know, respect amongst your uh, compatriots. And so if you're competitive, as Stereo certainly is, uh, you know, then then you can get that need met as well. So all of those things, I think. So even though I don't think you can sit and goes, you're not going to get you know, a billion dollars, right? You're just not going to grind a billion dollars out playing sit and go. But nonetheless, if you're a competitive player, you can still get that need met. And I think it's yeah, not, I mean, it's, I it's time bound as well. Sorry, what when I first saw, saw the leaderboard and I saw my name up there and I was like, oh my God, that's yeah. wicked. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, look at that. That's... And then I'm like pointing to it. Look, I'm number one. I'm number one. Oh yeah, and it's like, I, I still do it today. Yeah, you know, you just be like, Look, I'm number one. You know, the first time I was in contention oh. for a ring, because I know all of us have rings here. Oh. Um, the first time I was in contention for a ring, when I actually got in the first, I, I changed my game based on making accommodations for it. Yeah, try, trying to win the leaderboard at the end of the week. So you've all you've all got rings. And, yep. and no chat. We've all got yeah. rings. Yeah. And uh, kind of back to uh, along the lines of what uh, Diva was talking about, what a diverse group of friends we have made. We have a lawyer, we have a nurse, we have a yeah. music man, and I'm unemployed. Yeah. I, I figured out what I am yet. <laughs> I, I ain't grown up yet. <laughs> but, no, you, you got to figure it out. Diverse... You just haven't found the job. You got to figure it out. You just found what the a job. diverse group of people that we have found a, a diverse group of friends here. You know, where yeah. in real life would we, would I have ever had the opportunity to sit and make friends oh. with Diva? Or gross. See, the or, the funny thing saying? is as well, you know, with the, the VRPT, she, you know, crazy saying about everyone's got different professions. I've had like nice someone too. contact me and they want to make a poster for me, you know, to, for, the, for, the, for the ambassador thing. Yep. And they're a graphic designer. And I just met them through playing the sitting go and nine. they're going to do it for free. And I'm, I'm like, go is, it's awesome. I'll you know what I mean? Program. It's like, I, I don't have to pay program. for it. Okay. They want to okay. do it because they enjoy playing with uh, me. And, that's all because of it, these ace. games, you know, you meet people. I had and, the ace, so it was, I had ace queen. It you know, even like, like Kilroy, right? Like, uh, you know, he's another player I play with, like really cool guy. And, Bold. you know, he does engraving and stuff, which is really cool. He's showing me, his, he's just got this new machine. Right. And, you, you know, all these different player people with all these different backgrounds and, Bold. and you can make a lot of contacts, you know, it's not just about player poker. Bold. In the, uh, I, I think that's the, the, all, the amazing all, thing about this environment is, um, I mean, I played a lot of real poker, I'm sure, I'm sure most of you have as well, yet somehow it's still worth playing this because, and it can't be just because of the, the game itself, oh. poker, I mean, it's because it feels real, it's because there's human interactions, I agree. and I think I agree. if you meet someone in here, it's very hard to hide. If you're an arsehole, you're going to come across as an arsehole sooner or later. If you're a nice person, you're going to come across as a nice person. Yeah. And I think that's the difference between a lot of other online um, ways of meeting people. It's a lot easier to hide. Um, so you, I know we can't see each other's real faces, but I certainly associate you all with your avatars and your movements and how you talk and that. And it's it's a unique mm. thing that yeah. unless you, you've experienced it, it's really hard to describe. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the yeah, social awesome. aspects of PSVR it's, as a platform really are much really more evident in the sit and goes than they are yeah. in other because you're going to have an yeah. extended interaction and there are a lot of people who don't like to talk in this game and that's okay. Yep. Yep. But if you're going to sit there with 45 minutes for people and you know a lot of us all talk, eventually we could crack the most hardened non-talker. <laughs> I mean, we get everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> I mean, I've if you're going to come sit 
sit at our table, you better be prepared to talk because, you know. <laughs> yeah. You need to get cooped in some of these. Yeah, need that guy I'm talking. Call, huh? what a oh, not. oh, dear. Oh, oh, man, you're getting the cards on this yeah. table. Look at you go. So when we were talking about setting this up, I accidentally said I was going to yeah. set up a hyper. Um, and apparently cool. I broke some rule of etiquette there. So what, what are the etiquette rules that I need to know about <laughs> if I want to take part in the uh, sit and go home. community? What should, what, well, what? I wouldn't say it's a rule of etiquette, but we <laughs> usually play turbos. We usually yep. play turbos. And, you know, people will play hypers oh. if it's getting close to the end of the leaderboard period and they're trying to get a ring and it's, you know, con there's a big contest going on and people will play hypers at that point. But generally, I don't know, and maybe it's because we like to sit around and talk oh, with each other days. and spend 45 minutes you playing the game. You know, we generally will play the turbo format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it gets towards the end of the week, if you're in contention for a ring, what's the strategy? Because with cash, obviously, you know where you're at. But when it gets to the end of the week and you know there's 45 minutes to go, is it a case you wait at the top of the leaderboard? Do you take the gamble? How does that? Yeah, well, that's the per that's sort of the perpetual I mean, question, right? Is if, if right are you far I'm enough like, to I'm sit back and wait and see whether see. others are going to catch you up, or do you uh, need to play? Your sisters right? were crap. And uh, yeah, no, I, I think it's <laughs> bullshit, right there. <laughs> Press oh, the button. Sorry, <laughs> <dude. Yeah. laughs> no, I just I'm was. Sorry, I heard dude. you singing my tune over there because usually it's me telling him he's full of you know what. <laughs> oh no, my controller's dying. I'm sorry, Windward. I didn't. That's quite it. all right. Oh, did you not change your batteries before you came in here, girl? I did. Not. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> Welcome so the Windward was just the asking, what's the strategy at the end of the week when you're getting close to the cutoff for the leaderboard? And I don't know, Stereo, you got a lot more rigs than I do. You should answer that one. Uh, I, I tend to try and be ahead by the Saturday so I don't have to chase it. Like, I'm, I'm trying not to, but then if you're on a bad week, yeah, I've done the hyper thing, like you say. I've set up the hypers to try and win it and all of that. But it, it, yeah, I I much nice. prefer to get a little, a little bit ahead, at least like two or three games ahead of everyone else. If I want, if I'm oh. really going for it, because I think you need you man. need that yeah. buffer there. You know, you need that like two or three yeah. games to keep you safe. You know, and even yeah. like like back in like six months ago, you know, when I was going for the rings, like like raise it up. It was like. Because the spinning goes have obviously affected the amount of people playing the sit and goes right now, which is, you know, to be expected. Because yep. obviously the quest players can't join these games unless they're invited right now, which is, which sucks a little bit, you know. But obviously that has affected the, you know, the amount of people playing these, so it's more difficult to get these games running. So obviously you're waiting a lot longer, you're not getting as many games, so it's harder to actually get up on the leaderboard and get your, you know, get ahead of people. It's, it's right. harder to, to actually do that now, but... Yeah, yeah. and for those and quest players listening, if it's you want to play easier. Sit and Goes... It, I find it's yeah, a lot easier to actually them. win rings now, though. It's a lot easier to win rings because oh. people are... Yeah. They're not doing the 800k, oh. whatever. They're not hitting a, a million on the 20k. It's like... Now you only need to hit like 200k or 300k. You know, even this week, it's like, it's just over 100, isn't it? I had it's like right <laughs> last time I looked. You know, it's like 120k is like... But that's what it comes down to, Stereo. It's not about the stakes with the SNGs. It's about hanging out with people and playing tight poker. Yeah, but I mean, I'm actually talking about when you... Ch it's a lot easier to chase the, to ring to the rings these days. Yeah. It's a lot easier. It's yeah. a lot lower. You get the rings here? I remember it used to be yeah, like... Yeah, because the amount needed 600. to win is less because there are fewer tables during the week now. So. Yeah, yeah, well, that's the problem with the SNGs is the player base. I mean, the ones that we have are very close and very friendly, and we just don't mm -hmm. have, you know... When, when, you know, it'd be nice to have more players playing sitting there. I mean, so I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I was going to say, I'm assuming as soon as Quest users can uh, get in without having to be invited, that's got to help. And you've got to imagine Christmas yeah, being around, yeah, Christmas being around the corner's got to yeah. got to bring a fresh little influx of people in. So if you are a Quest player and you want to join a sit and go, what's the best way to get in touch with someone? 
Yeah, so uh, I think Pretty in Punk love. is a good yeah. example. Friendly I think Pretty in Punk yeah. is a great example. She's a quest player. Yeah. She came in. She got on the Discord channel for PSVR. She went in the Sit and Go, you know, channel, and she said, "Invite me," right? And she made, she friended everybody who was on Oculus so they could invite her. And so, you know, she would post when she was available for a game, and she would, oh, man, I'm gonna get knocked out here. This sucks. Um, you know, she would post. Oh, 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 oh still alive. I'm still alive. So any quest player who wants to play the sit and goes, they should they should follow Pretty and Punk's example, right? Because that was totally she now has a whole big network of people she can play with even though she's on the quest. Right. 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 And I think uh, we we spoke a little bit a while ago about how talking in this game. I mean I've played a lot of online games back to back in the day. Never particularly enjoyed engaging with people online. I mean, I've enjoyed playing the game. I've enjoyed being part of groups in your old yeah. online role-playing games. But the whole chatting thing wasn't yeah. really my bag. This kind of... And when I played VR, Pavlov, and all the games everyone plays, never said a word to anyone. It, there's some reason it's a lot easier to talk to people in this game oh. than it seems to be in others, whether it's because you're oh. sitting in a chair, whether because this is a natural environment. I don't know what it is. So anyone who's thinking about playing the game, worried about these people are all going to start talking to me, I'd say, don't worry about it. It's 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 a, a nice degree it, of anonymity, it, but it's it, a safe it, honestly, place. It, you know, it, it's a big part of my game, Winward, and at the same time, it's so much fun meeting people and interacting with them. Um, I actually yeah. lost my voice for about a week and a half, and it was... I was dying because it's yeah. no fun, yeah. man. It's so easy to talk to people. Absolutely. Especially when you start seeing the familiar faces, you know, the people that you've played with. And, you know, even if they're not, you know, somebody you talk to, you know, on the regular, you yep. still see them at the tables and you're like, oh, look at this. Absolutely. And I think, also, just as an aside, right. something which is really is interesting is the degree to which you start to associate people with their avatars. Oh. I, mean, I, I see yes. that avatar, I think you. Yes. There's other avatars, I think, of a certain person. If someone changes their avatar, it's almost like a weird VR faux pas, unless it's Halloween. It um, is. And yeah, there's, there's, there's some... Hey, now! <laughs> I'm no, no, about except remote. her for crazy. That's her thing, though. Oh, she you change yours all the time? Oh, right. comes in different. Oh, yeah. that's very yeah. interesting. Oh, that's... that's so what, why'd you do that? What, what makes that's you... Hard. What's the thinking there? Just enjoy change? I, I just yeah. like to... The fly. Look at the um, Oculus, dress it up, mix it up, change it up, you know. Yeah, what do you think? Do you think this, 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 this is no, no, Not no, for no. your yeah, boys, geez. that sucks. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he makes me think of oh. No, that's <laughs> Peter. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> the the first one was cash, cash wasn't it? Of course. That yeah, yeah. I, I, really, really interesting that, I think. Yeah, it's, it's just, it, it is strange how we associate oh. people by yeah. their avatars. Oh, and, when I think, yeah. think Stereo Man, oh, I yeah. think you. And I'm sure when you think Gross and Adam, oh, you, you think me. You know, no need to apologize. Yeah. Split? I think oh, yeah. Yeah. Crazy, Split. Though. Splitting yeah. again. <laughs> when she changes her avatar, it's like, oh, you've changed your look. Cool. And, and you always put a little theme on it, and it's something different every time. So it's like, oh, looking good, you know, like... You know, you might come in. Like, oh, don't tell like... me if it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy Who's that we're I've sucks. Seen some... yes. <laughs> well, I I kind of changed my avatar a little bit lately, and uh, you know, yeah, I didn't the wear where's it. The Diva? The no, no, I'm gonna wear it. I wasn't gonna wear it yeah. because yeah, yeah, you know yeah, the horns are your thing. thing. Yeah, but yeah. I've been wearing the red horns lately. Nice so, suit shift. You know. Suit shift, definitely. <laughs> but I think this this is interesting we'll get, I do I do oh. keep my shark around since as everybody knows I'm a mm. lawyer. Nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what's interesting. We're doing this right at the start. All these things about avatars and virtual oh. presence and virtual groups hasn't been researched, oh. isn't fully understood. In in five years time this'll all be just as normal as a Facebook group or a chat group online or a chat room. So I think it's lovely to be in on something right at the very beginning. I think we're in a really privileged position doing all that. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking I was thinking about things like that. This is really the beginning, isn't it? And yep. And the thing with this as well, the sit and goes another amazing thing, the way you can like watch a movie. You know, cuz these oh. games are long games, so you can come in, you can set up a movie up here, you can sit and you can watch a movie. Uh, you know, you can watch YouTube, whatever you want and play your cards and chat with people and it's just 
it's just the best, you know. It's, that's that's, that's what I like about this yeah, yeah. and what I don't like about the spinning go because you got no time to time. do anything in the spinning go <laughs> other than play, you know, your your cards and that's it. Absolutely. Uh, and with with the sitting goes, yeah, you got you got it's 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 like another world. It's like it's like literally the Matrix. It is. It's like <laughs> oh, I can do so yeah. many different things in here. With, oh, you know the the, the, the VR desktop and all that. It's amazing. <laughs> ten, ten year old me is thrilled no, that uh, forty something year old me's got to do this. Put that crap in there. See what I got. Put that in there. Yeah, <laughs> I just know where you're hanging out. Look how much money you got there. Put that. Oh, man. I will. I was tempted. I was tempted. Show the audience. Show the audience. No, you hey, too. I can't find <laughs> you guys have pocket aces like four times between you? Yeah, yeah right. but it happened on my I, big I had... blind. I didn't really oh. gain anything. That was a spade, like though, people. was it? You didn't have a spade? No. Yeah, I, I, had, I had Jack 10 suited, so. Did you have spades? Did you have spades? Huh? No. I no. laid down spades. I laid down low spades I before one that spade. flop came out. I one, yeah, no, I spade. had two, and I laid them down. I shouldn't have, but, but whatever. Yeah, I was thinking someone's got a, a not flush. Uh-oh, it's me and Linward. What are you going to do, man? Ooh, oh, he's yeah. uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh he's got the aces now. No. Watch out. The original no. we'll flopper. Your ways. Yeah. Flop we'll the, learn your uh... ways. You hang out with us long enough, we're going to figure that shit out. Bring, bring in my cash raise to your sit-and-go well, Remember that one time yeah. we were in the void and he went all in on like a 5-7, right? Or a five yeah. something, right after he got his billion dollars. And I was like, never played with them. And I was like, I really want to call you. But it's like, look to Windward. What should I do? And I'm like, okay, call. <laughs> I totally got King Queen, that. King Queen, you, you got me. You did. You got me. Yeah. yeah. So, we, sorry. Yeah, Cal, Cal, Cal. Yeah. So I was going to say the yeah. features we've spoken about is Quest users being able to get into certain goes. What else would you like to see coming in the game, either features wise or other types of game or anything? Well, you'd most like people to would see. like to see a multi-table tournament, which probably would be more like a weekly event, you know, like the events that we have now. But I think a lot of the sit go players would like to see a multi-table tournament. Player mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think yeah. Five hundred K get at sit and go would be good as well. Like just yep. to, just the sandwich between the million because oh. I find the million is is unreachable oh. for a lot of people, and they would like the a, a game in between that. Yeah. Just, I would just, play you know, two fifty or five hundred. I'd play two fifty or five hundred. Yeah. A million is a little too rich for my blood. Right. Exactly. No exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Check. yeah. Check. I, I think they um, can help with build, build, building a bankroll. You know, playing the sit and goes because obviously like Check. it's it's Check. difficult. Like a hundred k game. You're not making yeah. what? What do you make on that? Like three hundred and something win. Three eighty, three sixty. Yeah, yeah. 50, I think. it's it's not a lot. And then you 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 you, you lose a hundred anyway just for entering it. But yeah, I oh. I think it would be good. Just something in between. Oh. Yeah, I think there is a big jump up to the million ones, and and there's not enough players to to run them. Yeah. Also, the ability to rejoin when you get glitched out of the game is like critical. Oh they really got to fix that. that. Was, yeah, that was yeah. Really that's, really that's really a good. fundamental yeah. thing. The ability to rejoin when you get disconnected for whatever reason. You know, okay, so, yeah, I agree. The two things that I'd like to see but are that, that, that's game. everything. That's spinning goes cash. Uh, spin yeah, goes, that's, all of that's it, right? everything. Yeah. Uh, the whole game. Yeah, that needs. We need that sure. facility, that feature, so you can you can just come back to the table and 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 rejoin definitely. Within a certain time limit. I mean, you know, no, yeah. we're not going to be happy if somebody comes we're back racing. at the end of the game. But I'm sorry, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. No, it's okay. Um, I'd like to see password. Oh. No, no, the they have to come right back. The yeah. Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Passwords. <All right>. <laughs> 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 no, I'd like to see password yeah. games that you could have open to the public after a certain amount of people join. So if you wanted to make sure you had certain people that made oh, that's a good idea. Friends. Yeah, not to yes. be selective. Yeah, but just to be able to get, you know, hey, you want to, you know, us four want to all play together, us five. You make a password game, and now we got three seats to fill. Some of the oh, other huh? friends we have on on. Let's open that puppy up. Unlock the yeah. table. Yeah. That would be so mm -hmm. helpful. That's yeah. a very good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
Yes, it is. And I also love to see a vote tick. Oh. They don't have a vote tick. Because you have certain people that are really toxic or, you know, or, or you know. Yeah, they're, they're, I don't like, agree with that. I don't I think kind of feel like with the abuse. To, I don't think yeah, there's I any think way to implement a vote kick that won't be oh, abused. Yeah. So I, I think you just, I think the muting them is sufficient to solve the problem. Uh, okay, touche, touche. The muting and the muting of the avatar kind of takes care of that. You are correct. You are correct. Yeah. I think people who sit out the entire game. Just sit out. There should be a time limit on that. Yeah. I think like oh, 15, yeah. minutes, I agree with 15 that. minutes or something. It doesn't matter on the cash be... games, but on the sit yeah. and go, I mean, it's it's terrible. I mean, it's well, you have people sitting out as a strategy, right? Exactly. And right. and you know, problem. even if you take their blinds for half an hour, they still might come in third on the table. I mean, right. you know, so That's and that right. and right. then it really obstructs the play for everybody else. So that is annoying. Does it um, auto fold the hand after a couple, or does it keep timing it, down? It often? does, yeah. So it does start taking the blinds. So I mean, it is part, it is in official game rules as well in like other poker, right. you know, tournaments and things and po poker rooms like live games that you can do that as a strategy if you want. Aww. You can just sit out the entire tournament. So yeah. while it, it does, it I feel like they could. Implement something <laughs> like a time limit. I, I still think it's it's sort of. I mean, I I don't like it, but you can't I'm not 100 percent sure can, <laughs> you know, whether, whether they should or not. Yeah, since you've seen it done in real life, if you can do that in real life and it's okay, it's legal in real but they, life. Yeah, what, but they have an it, they have I, the ante, don't oh. they? In 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 like yeah, yeah, where it really it will what is destroy that? you. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's cash yeah you should have bet before yeah, yeah i've seen a lot of people um some people come in and they'll push in first hand if they're lucky enough to me. get that it. first spot right. then all they got to do is sit out the rest of the game then they're guaranteed at least third but so, then yeah. i mean you could Play just fold ball. that entire game we were talking about this yesterday you could just sit there and fold Play every ball. hand and there's nothing wrong down. with that yeah that that's just like playing you tight win. you know you can do that Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's not exactly good sportsmanship, though, when, you know, everyone's playing and chatting away and there's one person at the end of the table who's just sat out the whole time. Yeah. 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 Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. So, in five years' time, have you given any thoughts as to where this might be? What the game will look like? What we'll be doing? I think a lot of people I speak, speak to on here are looking for like they they want cash they want like real Play money that's what they're thinking this is going to end up as a real money game which i kind of think it, it, it like it would be oh. good but i think it would have to be a separate yeah. game personally i think it wouldn't work um because there's just yeah, too many I'd be a broke bitch i can't afford to play <laughs> with the lawyer you know, you know what i'm saying you know yeah but i, I think well, I we think, will uh, start you know i think, I we'll think about the getting... applications right mm. if you think about the applications of virtual I reality know. beyond gaming in the corporate environment and yeah. elsewhere that you know be... it, it could eventually replace the need for a significant amount of travel so yes. if you think of it as a replacement for travel, I mean, you know, it, it, across a wide variety of applications, then ultimately you could have people, you know, participating Rain. in poker, you know, cash, actual for cash poker. It will happen. It will. In will areas be the, casinos, of the world yeah. where, you know, would, you wouldn't yeah. normally have access, couldn't afford to travel, you know, you name it, right? So... I think it's good. Imagine, imagine a World Series oh. of Poker where it was on in VR. There'd be millions, yeah, that'd be of awesome. thousands of players. Hundreds of thousands of players. Mm. Yeah, I think it's inevitable. I've spoke to a dealer recently who, who plays in here, yeah, and he said he's gone back to his casino, and he said, this is going to bust us. He said, as soon as this is available, the only reason people will come to casinos is for the real world interactions and to have a drink, because this is going to conquer everything, and I think it will. Yeah, well, everybody who likes to Netflix and chill is going to prefer VR poker to going out to going out somewhere, right? You know, so... Yeah, I've got... What's the pot? What's the pot? <laughs> you a, gonna oh, bet I me out of hand, I just you? folded. Oh. I'm gonna bet five. I shouldn't have folded. What the fuck? Me neither. Oh, oh, me yeah. neither. But then again, we're gonna get a spade or a club on the river watch, and I'll be like, oh, I'm thinking, I, don't, I, I don't know. Is he, is he inclined to bluff? Oh, yeah, he's totally full of shit about oh. 
You owe me this pot now when you win it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's a great Sister's card. Babe is coming. Is no. he prone to block? And you're going to tell Winward yes. Is all oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. She blew up your game. Yeah, but he was a See, fan, right? That is the virtue of the yeah. sit go right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Now, normally, I would not comment on a hand in progress that I'm not no, playing no, no, no. in, but yeah, this is a special occasion. Good I'm TV. totally, that was, you know what, I just TV. broke the bro code there, Gross. I'm so sorry, Matt. I totally, no, totally she ain't, she ain't fucking sorry. I don't believe that. I had one out. I had one out. I was holding this. The cards were over the line. The cards were over the line. Ben. 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 <laughs> oh, oh boy. So, God, I've got like four invitations to play while I've been sitting here. I'm more popular today than I usually am. I don't know what's uh, going on. Yeah, me too. I, I, am I, I am unhappy. I am unhappy. Unbelievable. I feel bad for you. Because I, I, I end up doing the bingo oh. games every week and I have to invite so many quest players. Oh. I got like six pages full of people I don't yeah, even go know. Ahead yeah, yeah, go ahead and punish me. Yeah, go ahead and punish me now. I deserve now, it. You know, and it's, I mean, it's cool. You know, I, uh, ahead, I was I'm saying sorry. to Jordan, I was, uh, you know, you were saying we really appreciate Player you doing this, and I was like, it, it, it's, it's really good for me, because at least now I have like, a good Here's group of people, that, like I can, I can invite to these <laughs> games, you know. Uh, apart from Whistle, because I drove that guy crazy apparently, and he had to, ba he had to block me because I was sitting <laughs> ten, ten invites. It's not, it's not, it's but, not yeah. difficult to offend Whistle. It's not difficult. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are, no, I have heard people talk about another feature that, um, and I think it's been discussed before. Oh. I know the props are fun. We all enjoy them, but I'll um, give you a chance to for people starting yeah, out. Her, we are sure. Maybe they could have oh. the low tables be somewhat prop free. I think yep. that would get rid of a lot of kids. And yeah. I know you can mute the props, but that's the not the same as you know. People get distracted with the props, the and next thing you know. That's Your game's yeah, taking yeah, forever because yeah, they're the playing with props. Yeah, yeah. And I have heard people say, well, they yeah, invited their split, poker then. friends in. You have to start at the $5 tables, and it turns into a big yeah, cluster of play things. Oh. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> I think that's why Sin yeah, goes like, away. I'm going to throw this now because I lost <laughs> and I'm pissed. Not really. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I got this for you. Here, here you go. Here yeah, you give go. me that salt shaker. <laughs> give me that salt. Man, I was number one on the leaderboard coming in here. Why am I doing this? You owe me, man. <laughs> that's karma, Diva. That's karma. No, yeah, you got even with me. You, You'll get it back. He feels better back, now girl. for me exposing oh, his gotta, dirty secret. I gotta meet that. Oh, I'm You're gonna have to cut racing, that whole piece racing. out. You're gonna have to cut that whole piece out because everybody's gonna watch this and they're all gonna know he's full of nine shit. Nine or an eight. I need a nine or an eight. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> I don't mind it all. We're not, it's I'm good advertising. Forth, it's know, always it's good advertising. Good, good advertising when you call bluffing. That's what I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm definitely. definitely not afraid to try to buy a pot on occasion. No, no like fantastic. Um, I think and that's can, a great point. Yeah, uh, we're saying about people starting out. Starting in sit and goes is a way of avoiding all the uh, props at the lower tables because can. you can yeah, play a load of it. And it yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, but I agree, yeah. But, Options but, switch it off would be great. It's a way yeah. of avoiding children, too, quite frankly. I mean, you know, children who are not there to play poker. Now, my kid... <laughs> is here to play poker and she's really good so uh yeah uh i'm, I'm passing my sngs down to the next generation in our family but uh yeah but if yeah you there don't are want to some play really good young players on here there are some really good young yeah. players on here definitely yeah. i mean Ray, reagan i play with her a lot oh i played great yeah yeah she, yeah she, very good she's really good oh. yeah. yeah and uh yeah yes. And, but then you, yeah, you do get the kids who just want to come in and and they're not interested in playing poker really, you know. But I'm, 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 I'm running a bluff here. Oh. Hey, don't don't tell him I'm running a bluff. <laughs> no, no, he just called it. <laughs> well, nice 
<laughs> not so much of a bluff. Yeah. Not so much of a bluff. <laughs> So we, we no, mentioned... If I could just put, I yeah. don't think this is not here, going well. We can't let him come in here and win when he never oh. plays with you us. Know, we have uh, the ambassador you know. thing. <laughs> yeah, go go crazy. I yeah, shouldn't yeah, have yeah. told him that. We have the ambassador <laughs> thing coming up, and I just want to point yeah. out, Stereo Man has probably, I wouldn't say single-handedly, but he has Try. kept our sit and goes Try. going continuously. Try. Brilliant. And if anybody has, has really pushed the sit and goes and been proactive in the sit and goes, Stereo Man has, and I think he should get some credit for that. You know, I think uh, uh, if you've got a vote that you'd like uh, to vote, and Stereo's yeah, always inviting you to the sit and goes, vote for the guy. You know? Vote Stereo Man for uh, stereo. more go and better sit and goes. Anything you'd like to add to that Stereo? He's a machine. He's a machine. If you, if you, yeah, like, I mean, free free airtime. Why okay. should people vote for you? Uh, I just love the, this game, and like I say, I'm trying to keep these sit and goes going. Like I'm always, you know, hosting tables, and uh, I just love this whole community, and and I, I just want to make the game better. Brilliant. And I know, I know when I was that's the main thing. I was yeah. talking to Jordan about setting this up, and I said who I, I was inviting along, and he was delighted that your name was on the list. He said every time he goes and looks in the lobby, you've got to sit and go, ready to roll. And, and without yeah. people doing that, it would, it would absolutely die. It would. So yeah, and it is, it is, it is, it has yeah. really. I feel like there's more really going on than off. just the spin and goes coming in. I think yeah. it's a, I think. Yeah. That initially yeah. took players away, but then it compounded the effect because it was taking longer to start games. So yes. it had a, it magnified well, the effect. It, oh. it kind of goes back to the fact that I talked to a gentleman yesterday who said he was from uh, VR Poker, yep. the other poker game, and he invited some of his friends to come cool. over, and they all ran into... Of course, you have to start at the smaller cash tables, and then it's just a cluster of toys and people playing ridiculous. And I think for the lower people that's starting out, there should be some type of table that is really poker to get them started on their way so they can enjoy the game. I mean, these are people trying to come in trying to play real poker. Yeah, I think. You know, and yeah. they don't they don't want to mess with all the other stuff. So. I think a mature player's uh, preferred yeah. no props. Something like that would be oh. a useful way of doing that because everyone's got to start at the bottom. Ooh. It's only fair, but um, but not having to deal with um, a thousand fireworks and all the pistols and all the rest of it would be uh, would be really good. Yeah, absolutely. But speaking of props, one thing I've got to ask you all because I'm asking everyone is if you could have a custom prop, what would it be? No. Mm. Prop. Yeah. Player, yep. What prop would you have? Uh, an insect drone. I love that Zeppelin drone. I have seen the ladybug in previous uh, games. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. at one point when I it was like a bug. them. I, I want a bug that sits there and hovers. Whether it's a housefly or a playing mantis, I want an, an insectile drone that I can have sitting up here above my shoulder. <laughs> Fantastic. I would have a scales yeah. of justice. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the holdable or, or standing on the... Uh... Like a standard, nice, can you put things nice. in the scales and balance them? And yeah, them. that you could put things on either side and weigh them. Like maybe you could put two hands on there and see which one is better. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd like a guitar. I'd like a guitar. I can play yes, in games. I've heard a lot of oh, people say that. That'd be cool. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, make yeah. any noise, yeah. but you could just sit there and yeah. play. Yeah. Stereo Man wants an axe. I'd like to see axe. you with a ukulele, Stereo Man. <laughs> uh, no, I want, I want like a, a, a strap a or a, you know, a Telecaster or something, something nice. Maybe a, a, a Gibson SG. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, something nice. I've been into Windward now. I've heard people ask for drumsticks too. You know. I oh, know. I'll call a raise depending on the size. But... Tell, I tell, think tell me my biggest, um, and I hate to, <laughs> you know, when they come out for hats to buy, can we, can you us girls are, please you know... get hats with hair? Yes. Oh, God, yes. Yes. Please. Hats with no hair. More... I mean, I do <laughs> shouldn't understand... have to go bald. I do understand they have their dilemma about, the, you know, they, right. they it has to take off the Oculus hair, so that's why. But when they're designing the hats... Please Build design some, hair some hats with long hair. 
Yeah. I, I tried to do the cowgirl thing, and it just it just cannot happen with a bald cowgirl. <laughs> I think the worst thing about the feminine avatars is the hands. Check. Check. Oh, we've all got the same oh, hands, hands, have we? I hadn't really thought about that. Yeah. They look female to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the same. Yeah, my hand. Yeah, the I same. would like to be able to wear oh, no. all my rings at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's ring weird though. Finger. My, my fingers are longer yeah, than yours. I know, crazy. So the I'm three rings together, like... in a week winter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I got that uh, the week after I read Windward's How to Play thing. Coincidence. I honestly <laughs> did. I started reading this stuff. Thank you. Uh, you are top of the leaderboard, though, for There's the rings. There's a lot of women yeah. in the sit and goes too. That's probably worth mentioning that we yeah. often have tables with too that are at least there, half women or even more. And a lot of the women, I think, yeah. like to. Not all, but a lot of women, the women players do like to play sit and goes. So. Mm -hmm. Player is all in. You know, I was having fun there for a minute. Critical moment in this tournament. For a hot minute, you were having fun. Very critical I did, moment. I, did, I had a five, then. I, had oh, a I got, nine. I got the queen. I got the queen. Yeah, he had a, oh, he had a queen. And yeah, a queen? yeah. A ten. Oh, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I thought the queen had it. Oh, you had the queen. Or if not, you hit the king when you better go move it. Yeah, I had pocket eights. Yeah. I couldn't do anything. That's a no, horrible flop. So we're approaching the end of the game, which is where I guess when you're playing a sit and go normally everyone's left and there's just a couple of people sitting at the table. Does the talking continue when yeah. you start to get in the money or does it normally get a bit quieter as people start focusing? Oh well, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to try. I'm going to who's at the table if it's us, it continues. A lot of times we'll, we actually will stay and watch the game like the oh, well. two of us are doing right now. And we'll stay and watch and keep talking to each other. You can do that, and you can learn how people play, actually, yeah, unlike well, in well, other you things, you things where if somebody wins a hand and leaves oh, a cash yeah. table, you don't know too much about them, but you can sit and watch. You can learn how people yeah, play. It's, and when you're having a drink or something, you just chat away while people are playing and wait for the next game, you know, it's good. To and wait for the next table, exactly. Yeah. 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 The, other, the other thing that helps is the whole social anxiety aspect. Uh, people don't like talking in front there of an eight-handed table. Nice. nice. Yeah, That's what I'm like. Yeah. So you'll find that as things get uh, quieter and there's less Can't people in the room, there's less people at the table, people that yes. normally wouldn't talk do. Yes, absolutely. I found that um, when I'm playing heads up, or just two or three people at a cash table, there's some people who will chat. You get a couple of conversations going on and they just they don't want to speak anymore. And that's, of course, absolutely fine. But, um, yeah, it is. I, I think there's something wonderful about the VR environment for all sorts of anxiety and, and interpersonal issues. Um, yeah. Yeah, which I think as time goes on in the next few years is going to become uh, properly researched and I think we're going to understand it a lot better. But it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just lovely spending time in this space. The river. Mm -hmm. And it's about, you know, um, and it's about getting people to talk, you know. The more you talk and the more you have this social environment being created by, on the table, the yep. more you find people that you normally wouldn't hear, all of a sudden they're talking because they want to interact with everybody. They want to have fun just like we all are. Not Absolutely. That, not that, that, yeah, not that they can't just listen to our banter because they can be kind of funny, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, 400. But, uh, but at the same time, you'll find people that, you know, you haven't heard. You've never right. heard them. You recognize a name and you know they don't speak and then all of a sudden oh. they start talking because they're getting warmed up and they, uh, they're getting comfortable with everybody. Absolutely. Um, what would you say, I know we've got rings, but what would you say your, your proudest achievement in the game is? So it might be a ring, it might be a, um, a game you played or something. Getting What's the... two rings in one week was pretty good. Uh, which, yeah. Of course, Praise has got me three. beat there. She got three in one week. So, yep. yeah. And that is not but... my proudest moment. My proudest no. moment was Raise all up. these friends right here. Bold. You know, these people yeah. we see almost every day. So... They could take I mean, away yeah, I mean, tomorrow. I mean, three, I got invited they take away to... these people, and what yeah. do I have? Here's the flag. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For me, it's supporting that's, women that's in the game. Thing, yeah. I've really, since I joined, gone out of my way to, you know, support women being competitive in the game, Please. trying to win it, you know, you you know no, no, no. being strong contestants. The river. Everybody shuts up and looks at the car. <laughs> I know. We're all like... I, I think this thing... Well, he's yeah, about to get his... Up. This is, he's yeah. about to... Gross, Somebody's you're representing be really now. You need to win this game because this cash <laughs> dude doesn't come in here and like act like he knows what's up. So I... I, uh, I... <laughs> 
I say, I think there my is my earlier transgression notwithstanding. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah, definitely I would have had him kill that hand. He was totally gonna lay it down. Slaughtered me. Down. There's definitely uh, I only ever hundred dollars. We shouldn't say something about um, <laughs> new people that are new to sit and goes who have mostly ever played cash um, when they first come to the sit and goes. I think sometimes we see them once or twice, they get discouraged and they never come back. You know, because it is a total different style of play here. Yeah, yeah. So I guess my advice is if you're coming to the sit and goes, um, be prepared to wait it out. Wait for your good hands. Don't try to push everything. Uh, I knew you had the sometimes age, you can't bluff quite as much. Give me a deck. You can sometimes. But... Oh. I knew you had the ace when we're... I did. I know you had the ace. Uh, nice hand. No, absolutely. But uh, I yeah. encourage them to not, to not be discouraged. Um, keep trying, and, and it is a total different style. It's so keep trying, you, keep coming back, and, <laughs> and learn as you go. <laughs> now you're representing me. Oh, that's just for you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, what my a way God. to win a game. <laughs> oh, that's oh, insane. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. We're going to have to delete this part, too. Right? Yeah, we're we're, we're going to have to start this whole thing over because you're not allowed to come in here and win. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's the best advertisement for the cash players yeah. to come to our table. So yeah. we're ever going to see right it's there. Easy. Look at that. Easy, that's yeah. <laughs> Well, it's the first one I've won, so I had to win one eventually. Oh, thank you ever so much, everyone. Absolutely brilliant. A real pleasure meeting you and talking to you a bit more um, in detail. So, uh, if you want to wave to the camera, and uh, we'll Hi see guys. you next time. Don't so, forget to vote Bye, stereo. Yeah, vote, ste vote stereo, man. Vote stereo, man. <laughs> hey, you guys. Uh, I'm going to put up another 5K because I just lost my spot on the leaderboard. If anybody wants to join. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Is he, is he inclined to bluff? Oh, yeah. He's totally full of shit about stuff. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>